Uber Cups. Here on Court 2, we're witnessing Uber Cup action between Chinese Taipei and Tahiti in Group C. We witnessed two women's singles matches already. Chinese Taipei winning them quite comfortably. And we're into our third women's singles match. And that is between Yu Qian Hui and Herotia Q Rei. Yu Qian Hui of Chinese Taipei and Horetia Q Rei from Tahiti. It will be an important match for Chinese Taipei to try and seal victory in this tie. Whereas for Tahiti, they'll try to keep it alive, hopefully, hoping for a win here. Walking on court is Yu Qian Hui, the 26 year old from Chinese Taipei. And she'll be looking to seal victory here. Making sure that Chinese Taipei go through to the knockout stages, which they have done consistently for the last two, and this will be the third edition. In uh, 2018, they go to the quarterfinals and they lost there to Japan. In 2016, they lost to the quarterfinals as well and lost to China. So this will be their third straight quarterfinal here if they win this match. Also on court now coming up is uh, Tahiti's Herotia Kurei. And she played in the Sudaman Cup for Tahiti and will be looking to build on that experience here at the Uber Cup. She's got a big, big task ahead of her, trying to keep Tahiti in this tie, keep them alive. She needs to win this for Tahiti, for Tahiti to have a chance. This is the first meeting between the two players. As the umpire tosses the coin. She wants to receive. And Chinese Taipei have won the toss and have chosen to receive in this third women's singles. Joining me now in the commentary seat is Gronia Somerville and uh, she is an Australian mixed doubles as well as women's doubles player who will be sort of touring Europe for the next couple of months playing in tournaments. And it's going to be a long, long... Uh, Tour for you, Grania. Yeah, so I'm set to be away for around three months playing these tournaments. But excited to start with this commentary. Well, we're excited and happy to have you on board. Yu uh, Chen Hui there, she's 26 years old, 163 centimeters tall, currently ranked at 659th in the world. Her highest ranking was in the top 100, born in Taipei, Chinese Taipei. She used to be mainly a women's doubles player. Uh, up to 2019. So she played women's singles, but not as consistently as she played women's doubles. Herotia Cure, she's just 16 years old. Again, this Tahitian team is all about youth and exuberance that comes with it. 170 centimeters tall, born in Uteroa, Tahiti. Doesn't have a ranking uh, as yet, but I'm sure in the next few years she will be out and about on the international circuit. The umpire is Jörg Hupertz from Germany and joining him as service judge officiating this match is Iris Metzpalu from Estonia. So another big match coming up for Tahiti as they look to stay alive in this uh, fixture. I know that's a big ask but uh, Curie would have seen those last two matches and hoping to improve on that. Yeah, and I think this is her first international competition. And as you said, she has no ranking. But just looking at her warm up, that's quite surprising to me because she looks, you know, quite, like quite a, a decent player. So it'll be interesting t to see what she brings to this game. And I'm told by her coach that she re recently just moved from Tahiti to um, a French badminton academy in France. So from that, I, I would assume that she's starting to take badminton a lot more seriously. And so I think a lot more tournaments will be in the pipeline for her. And, you know, this is a great place to start in getting world-class badminton experience here to debut her 
in her badminton career. Yes, for a lot of them, it, it was a lot about backyard badminton, then in school, and now looking at it more seriously. Uh, they're just teenagers, right? So they've got a long time to make these decisions still. And uh, Herotia will serve to start this match off. She will play Yu Chien Hui. Who's played singles for this Uber Cup and also this is the Man Cup? That is just out for Cure. Oh, nice tight drop shot there from Yu Chen Hui. Good angle. She did well to give the, get that rally going, Kure. So far seeming to let it go to her backhand a little bit too easily. It'd be nice to see her like that, get her around the head in those shots. Five. Love. There you go, Meva Gayad having a little bit of fun cheering on her teammates. Chiray going to have to reel back a bit of the power in those clear shots. <laughs> Getting used to the court still, I'm sure. She's a tall girl, which will mean it's easier for her to move around the court and get to those shots uh, compared to her previous teammates. Oh, that was that would have been lovely to see had it gone across the net. Love. Lovely little flick from Pure. It's eight love though to Chinese Taipei now. Yuchi and Wei doing really well. Great smash there. She's just finding the lines no. really well. Love. And so Yu and Hui taking command of this match early on. She's uh, come out all done blazing. 10 love now in this first game. And with that, it's 11 love. She went for the kill shot to take a comfortable lead. Just three minutes is what it took for Chinese Taipei to go up 11 love in this first game of the third of the women's singles fixtures. Yu Chien Hui uh, played against Aniti in the Sudaman Cup as well for Chinese Taipei, but she played a different player and uh, won that quite easily. But then she went on to play An Yong in the quarterfinals and that proved to be the actual challenge using that in straight games so that will be an interesting one when they do play korea in the next match because that will be the first maybe test for both these teams yeah so that might be then pai po against Ansayong in that next matchup Just well, misread that well. a little bit. Cure. She had set that point up really well, just didn't take advantage of um, Yu Chen Hui's backhand pull shot to really play a fast across net there. Oh, that would 
have been a... 30. That was a good wow. backhand. Just didn't find... Just found the net, actually. Uh, couldn't get over it. But uh, Eugene Hui, of course, uh, having also played against Egypt for Chinese Taipei, won that one quite comfortably in the first game, 21-4, before Jana Ashraf of Egypt put up a little bit of a fight in the second. And Eugene here coming through 21-13 in the second in that one. So she is definitely one of the players that Chinese Taipei will well. depend on in this tournament as the third women's singles. They seem to be pretty set in their lineup, Chinese Taipei, with uh, Payuko Hongyuting well. and Yu Chin Hui taking on the women's singles matches. 15 love now for the Chinese Taipei player. A few narrow misses there by Curie. 16 love. Still struggling to get on the scoreboard. And there she does it. <laughs> Finding the corner there on that return. So at this point she really needs to try not be too disheartened with the scoreline and just trying to keep play her game and set up the points the best she can. Have some fun. Yeah, just make the most of this awesome chance that she has so here. So like to see her be a little bit more aggressive on those when she's able to push Yu Tianhui into those corners. She's a little bit passive at the net. Nice touch there. Little cross court return at the net. Service over. 18. And that, with that, it's 18-2 for Chinese Taipei. It's three points away from sealing this first game. Another backhand error from Pure. Beautiful. She's a bit more aggressive, stepped in there and took that nice. next shot really early, giving Yu Chen Hui no time. Oof. Four. Nice. Not making it over there, that cross court net. But it is that, it is about staying in, this, in these rallies for as long as possible, even if that means that you force the error of your opponent like that. And, uh, Five. Nineteen. Curie's mixing it up with some flick serves. That's a wild forehand there. Means that is game point for Chinese Taipei. Five. Fifteen game points for Yu Chien Hui. So, 21-5, Chinese Taipei. Take the lead in this third women's singles rubber. Another backhand error from Curie, unfortunately, meant Eugene here wrapped that up 21 5 in just eight minutes. There's the coach, Leo. He, I think, still plays a little bit himself, but has taken on more of a coaching role in Tahiti over the past few years. I've actually been trying to get over there to run a coaching clinic with them and see a bit more of Tahiti, but it hasn't been possible <laughs> recently. Sounds like a dream job. Yeah. <laughs> you can come do a, do a BWF <laughs> insightful video on, on Tahiti and we can, you know, work, yeah, and, let's work and play there. <laughs> let's do it. But yeah, I mean, you know, Tahiti is such a small country, you know, to build a team, and get the facilities and play and all this. It, you know, it's a, it's it's not easy for any country. Yeah. And uh, for a small nation, that's that much harder. Exactly. It, it takes a lot of years and you know a lot of changes in the system and of course resources funding that is a huge barrier for small countries like Tahiti. And 
yeah, it's Four it's going to take time and seconds. it's all, you know, each player kind of needs to help develop the next system and having, you know, great coaches like Leo as well just helps build build the sport up and expose the sport even within Tahiti because it, it would still be such, uh, such an obscure sport within Tahiti as well. Second game. Okay, for the second game, Eugene Hui to serve. So with Tahiti though, this this appearance at the Uber Cup will surely surely have piqued a lot of interest back home and hopefully that just means a bigger profile, not just for these players, but also for the sport within the country. Yeah, exactly. So pretty much building the sport starts from the grassroots. So getting that exposure within schools, getting, you know, kids coming out to have a hit and just see, you know, a badminton racket and the shuttlecock is a great way to start. And then help, that helps, you know, feed the players into the system, build up the clubs and indirectly then it would help their high performance badminton grow and develop with a, a bigger pool of players coming through the ranks. Kira doing really well here, giving yeah. Tahiti the lead yeah. for the first time, 3-1. Service over, 2-3. That was a hard smash from Yuji and Hui. Almost like making a point. Yeah, she went all out on that one. Barreling down the line. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful net cross shot Four. from Yuji and Hui. From she left it late. As well. Yeah, <laughs> she, she was really testing her limits, seeing what she could pull off, and it was done wonderfully. Five, three. Again, really well played three. at the net. Yeah, great Which net control. control. Overplaying that over. around the head cross court slice Four. a bit too much there. Service over. Seven. Chen. Four. Chinese Taipei, uh, best Uber Cup performance was way back in 2006 when they got to the semi finals, and that's the only time they've gotten to the semi finals. They've uh, Every time they've played, barring 2014, Four. they have made the knockouts, but uh, 2006 was the only time they made the semi-finals. And uh, at that point, they beat Korea 3-2 in the quarters to progress. So, um, you know, you never know. It could be another surprising Nine. year, or Four. if they get a good draw in the knockouts that we see Chinese Taipei go through. They've got, they've got a very good mix of young and old in this team. Service over. Five, nine. And Kure faring a lot better so far. She's being a bit more aggressive than the first set and taking her chances at the right times, which is good to see. Nice. That was out. Really pushing her around the back there, which is six. Which nine. put the pressure on Eugene Wei. Finding her rhythm a little bit. So it's over. Yi Wei really has Ten. some great Six. net touch here. That shuttle was spinning uncontrollably. Oh, now see, that was lucky. <laughs> In my opinion, that was lucky. <laughs> so 11 6 it is for Yu and Hui as uh, she gives Chinese Taipei the lead in the second game. Five minutes is what it took.
Chinese Taipei ahead after winning the first game 21-5. They're now ahead 11-6 in the second. Oh, fantastic net skills again from Yuji and Hue at the restart of the second game. Chure playing uh, the women's doubles in the match against Korea. She didn't really play women's singles. So uh, she's mixing it up in this tie in her group. That was out, but just out, it felt. And it is kind of interesting to see that Yu Chenhui is still playing, you know, in 2019 playing three events. That's slightly more uncommon at her age of, I think, because at 26 years old. And especially from Asia where they usually specialize a little bit more at the two doubles or singles. And they specialized quite early uh, in Asia. They decide they want to stick to one, at least singles or doubles, they decide quite early yeah. when they want to do it. And I think soon after they finish up on the junior circuit, is when they decide what they want to specialize in. And Chinese Taipei does, they have the national team, but they also have a, a really good club system, which is is run through companies. So how it works is that the company um, kind of pays their salary, and then when they retire from their badminton career, they then go into a position working at the company. So that can decide, you know, which club players want to play for as well. Depending on what career they want afterwards. So it's a bit of a different system to some other countries. That's Eight. just out as well Seven. from Yuji and Hui. She's just missing her range a little bit. Again with that tight Seven. net shot. Eight. She's nailed that. Her, ne her net game has been really good. It's been ace. There it is again. Curie doing well just to get it back, but not well enough. Each end by able to finish it on the follow up. So we're two points away. Chinese Taipei to seal victory here. And just with that, it is match point. The 12 match points to seal this victory. Oh. <laughs> Backhand kill is how Yu Xian Hui seals victory. She's won 21-5, 21-8. Match Making Taipei, sure Chinese that Chinese Taipei have sealed a tie as well. And in just 17 minutes, it's 3-0 to Chinese Taipei against Tahiti in this group C encounter. <laughs> Giving the camera a little peace on there, happy with her performance. And kicking the Chinese Taipei team off to a wonderful start. Finishing with this beautiful backhand <laughs> call there and securing the tie with two more games to go. So all the singles rubbers uh, are done in this uh, Group C matchup. It'll be time for the women's doubles matches, the two of them coming up. They do have to play all five matches in this uh, group stages for the points in case it gets really close in the groups. So coming up 
It is the first of the women's doubles, Suya Ching, Hu Ling Fang taking on Maeva Gayad and Melissa Mi Yu. That's what's coming up on court two very, very shortly. Denmark, we're coming to you live from the Sarah's Arena, and just next to us is the amusement park. Uh, it is got an interesting entrance with the pumpkins lined up, uh, kind of a Halloween feel, which is appropriate for October. And uh, in the arena, of course, we've got badminton going on. The 